Hi, welcome to our Wednesday devotional. Thank you for tuning in today. It's a blessing to be able to share a thought or two with you. Let me tell you a little story. Last week, my wife and I went to a Christian concert by the Collingsworth family. It was down in Salisbury, so we kind of made an evening of it. We went early and stopped at one of Debbie's, Debbie's favorite places for dinner, and we had a good dinner, and we had plenty of time. We allowed plenty of time. We were excited. I had actually gotten directions on a map quest type of a thing, had them printed out uh, to the Wicomico Civic Center, which is where this concert was being held. And I got out uh, after, uh, after we ate, we got in the car and the directions I had printed out did not take us to the right place. So I relied upon my faithful phone GPS and tried to find it. The phone GPS kept twirling around, you know how those little circles do, and didn't ever give me the address. So I drove and must have driven on past it because we drove on south of Salisbury and, and we still hadn't found it. Finally, we stopped at this little uh, service station on the side of the road and asked for help. Well, this lady said, I don't know where that is either. But she took time on her GPS, on her phone, to look it up and gave me directions. But when she gave me directions, I listened and I followed those directions back. Uh, feeling like a failure as a man having to ask directions. But uh, she gave us direction. We followed back and found some signs and drove right to it. Now, the problem was it was very busy, very full, and they only opened the doors an hour before the concert. So when we got there, there was a line, looked like uh, hundreds of people. We parked and got in line, and the weather was a little chilly, and uh, so we're trying to be cheerful and so forth, a Christmas concert and Christmassy and everything. And so finally we bustled and hustled and finally got our, ourselves inside found our seats, and lo and behold, it was very, very crowded. And we thought, oh my, this is going to be fun, but very, very crowded. Well, when the music began, the whole attitude changed. Wonderful Christmas music, wonderful harmony, a wonderful blend, wonderful spirit, and we began enjoying ourselves. Then, uh, after, after the halftime or the intermission, we went back and they had some more music and it was shorter than the first first half. But the lady, Kim Collinsworth, began to play the piano and just play favorites for Christmas. And what happened was the entire group, the entire congregation, hundreds and hundreds of people, began to sing the Christmas songs with her. And she's such a good pianist, she would stop and say, wait a minute, wait a minute. And she sings alto, so she pitches things low when she sings. She said, that's not your key. And so she changed the key and raised it so the whole congregation or the whole auditorium could sing. What a wonderful, wonderful time that was. And Debbie and I enjoyed our time together and at a Christmas Christian concert. But after we got home the next day, one of my verses that I found was Proverbs 29 in verse 6. The last part of that verse says, the righteous doth sing and rejoice. Sing and rejoice. I wonder in your life today how much singing and rejoicing there should be. I've said for years that we ought to have a song for the day. I've had a song for this year, one song. Now I have other songs that I love and other songs that I'll sing in a day. But for the year, I've had one song, To God Be the Glory. And what a year this has been. To God Be the Glory great things he has done. And tell you what, when you have a downtime or you have a discouraging thought, if you've got a song for the day, sing it in your mind, sing it in your heart. It'll lift you, I believe. And the second thing is, he says, the righteous doth sing and rejoice. If any people, <clears throat> pardon me, if any people ought to be joyful people, if any people ought to be rejoicing people, it ought to be Christians. We ought to rejoice every day. The joy of the Lord is my strength, the Bible says. What a blessing it is. In 1 Thessalonians 5, the Bible says, rejoice evermore. Rejoice, rejoice. Here's our problem sometimes. We want to focus on those things that harm us, those things that bother us. 
And yet so many times, so many hours of the day, so many days of the week, so many days of the month, days of the year, we have so much to rejoice about, especially at this time of year as we celebrate the coming of Jesus Christ, his birth in the manger, the humble birth, the lowliness that he took on to become our Savior. Let's rejoice. I want to challenge you today. Proverbs 29, verse 6, the righteous thus sing and rejoice. Make today a day of singing, a day of rejoicing. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.